best weather update. Brought to you by Montreal Beach Resort. Under new ownership, discover some of the amazing updates that have gone into one of Cape May's most iconic properties. And check out Harry's Ocean Bar and Grill with an all-new menu and seven days of entertainment, including dueling pianos. Book your getaway or visit today. Good Sunday morning. I'm meteorologist Bobby Clark with an update on your forecast. Hope you're having a great morning out there across the region. Temperatures today will be a tad warmer than they were yesterday. We got into the low to mid, to even some upper 80s yesterday. We could be pushing 90 degrees as we head towards the afternoon in some places. But the bigger issue is going to be the clouds building as we head into the afternoon. Along, unfortunately, that humidity will make a return, especially as we head into later this afternoon on into the evening hours. And especially for tomorrow, give us a chance of maybe seeing some showers and storms. Overnight tonight, I think mainly after midnight towards the daybreak hour, I think that's where we could see the main bulk of the moisture out there. And the farther south you go, I think the better chance of seeing possibly some steady to heavier rain out there. And we're above normal for most of this week, looking at 90s plus with some humidity. I think a good portion of the week itself. So August is ushering in some warmer and some more humid air out there. We'll talk about that in just a moment. Take a look at temperatures across the area this hour, mainly in the 70s, 78 in Mays Landing, 70 in Hamilton, 75 in Glassboro, 76 in Marlton, 73 at the state capitol. Run that 195 corridor to uh, Asbury Park at 75 and a pair of sevens right now in Tom's River. So again, we're warming up pretty quickly out there with, with the sunshine, but the good news is with the cloud cover moving in this afternoon, kind of put a kibosh on temperatures getting too warm out there. So at least, like I said, maybe some interior sections possibly popping 90 degrees, but the good news is right now the humidity is on the lower side, but as we go into the afternoon and evening hours, the humidity will start to make a return, unfortunately. Exclusive Norcast hour by hour forecast for the rest of today. We'll see mainly sunny skies for the rest of this morning and clouds start to build as we head into the afternoon and evening hours. Temperatures right where they should be for this time of year, mainly in the mid to upper 80s. And again, nice to start, but unfortunately the humidity is going to start to return as we head towards the afternoon and the evening, out the evening hours out there with that humidity returning. As we take a look at tonight, mostly cloudy skies, scattered showers and storms will develop as we head towards after midnight, I think closer to the daybreak hours, temperatures in the 70s, but unfortunately it won't, it'll feel much worse than that. Unfortunately, more, much more uncomfortable and much more muggy out there as that humidity does make a return for us and help to fuel those showers and storms to pop up for us. Early showers and storms will end by around midday. Then we'll see some partly sunny skies, we'll call it. Temperatures rising up into the low 80s. So with that cloud cover helping to keep the temperatures at bay, which is some good news. Uh, but unfortunately, the humidity and the mugginess will continue for us as we head throughout the day tomorrow. Future cast, nothing going on at the moment. But as we head throughout the rest of this later morning on into the early afternoon, clouds will begin to filter and build thanks to low pressure and a warm front that's to our south. That will bring some showers and some storms as we head into overnight tonight on into early tomorrow morning and we start to clear out to get some pockets of sunshine thankfully as we head towards the later afternoon hours tomorrow towards the sunset hour we'll see some sunshine which is some good news out there but we could certainly use the rain so hopefully we'll get ourselves a good dousing especially you folks down in cape may county really that bubbles really needs to burst down there because i know you folks are really dying for some rainfall it seems like you always seem to miss these scattered showers and these storms that do pop through in terms of severe weather, not looking at that for this uh, system, uh, could we see a few rumbles of thunder? Of course. Can we see an embedded steadier to heavier rain? Yes. But in terms of any kind of major severe weather outbreak like hail and tornadoes and wind gusts, not really going to see that with this system. That's some good news out there. We could just use some garden variety thunderstorms and some showers to give us some, a decent amount of rain because unfortunately we're still in those abnormally dry conditions for us across the region. In terms of the heat, yes, unfortunately that's going to return as we head into the next uh, week or so and temperatures are going to be about 10 degrees above where they should be for this time of year. So we'll be talking mid 90s by the time we hit the end of next week. So unfortunately, August coming in, as I mentioned, with a return of some humidity and mugginess and some heat for us across the area. Seven day forecast Tuesday, the heat and humidity starts to return. We'll see 90 degrees on Tuesday. Same thing on Wednesday. We'll see near 90 degrees. And then it really starts to kick up as we head into Thursday and Friday, mid to upper 90s making it feel even worse will be the humidity. But that cold front pushes through Friday. I think Saturday afternoon looks pretty nice. You know, exclusive Norcast plus three days. We see another front push through here as we head into Monday, bring us back down to where we should be for this time of year by next Tuesday. Have a great day, everybody. I'll see you at lunchtime.